There is something underneath of that box. Oh, hell no! Go, 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 go! Top five scary things caught on camera. Scary people. Dumpster diving. So if you're not familiar with dumpster diving, which probably includes most of the people who are not in the US, it's basically scrounging through garbage dumpsters, usually behind department stores or businesses, to find valuable things or items that have been thrown out. Well, in this video, these guys aren't so successful in their dumpster dive. First off, they find some expired baby food, which one of them actually eats. <laughs> Jenny said he saw like an apple and pear one or something like that. Give me yeah, an right apple there, and pear. There. What is that? Squash? Yeah, I'll take squash. Really squash? Yeah, let me get squash. I like Dude, squash. Grab one of them drinks. Let me get it. There yeah, we grab go. Grab one of them drinks right there. Alright. Oh. oh! In the mouth? No, no, no. We gotta see it in the mouth. That's not bad. <laughs> Here, wash it down, this stuff is good. And later that night, they find a very unexpected surprise in one of the dumpsters. No, 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 no. It's moved in there, guys. Guys, 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 it's moved in there. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. It's moved inside of that dumpster. There is something underneath of that box. I'm not going over there. You look at it. I'm not going over there. That box right there just moved. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. Oh, hell no. 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 Dude, oh, you gotta be hitting me, bro. The guys actually uncover a homeless man in the dumpster who angrily comes after them. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. Oh, hell no. 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 He's gotta go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hell no. I freaking cut my arm. One of the guys gets a small cut on his arm, but otherwise they manage to escape unharmed. The Cobb Haunted Forest. The Cobb Estate was purchased by the city of Altadena, California in 1971. The property and the sprawling 107 acres of forest around it were made into a public park and hiking trails. Soon after, many visitors began to report seeing strange lights and hearing blood-curdling screams and bizarre laughter coming from the woods. The surrounding forest soon became known as the Cobb Estate Haunted Forest. Spirits. A lot of horrible things happen there and a lot of bad people hang out there. Well, when YouTubers Sam and Colby visited the Cobb Haunted Forest for a ghost hunt, they didn't find any ghosts, but they did find a very scary encounter all their own. Almost immediately, the group begins to hear noises and realizes that they're not alone in the woods. Coyote just Where? FYI. Like, what? Yeah. No. That, that was a coyote that just yipped. You guys are. Oh, oh! Okay, so much. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Did she just say help me? She just screamed, help me. You. Okay. Is there uh, actually like some like cult going on right now? Dude, I don't know. I'm only here to be the voice of reason it's so that people. these other yeah, guys don't do people. anything too stupid, okay? Seriously. It's a group of people over there. There's a group? 100%? Group. Multiple people. Should we get out of here? Even creepier, the voices in the dark seem to be slowly moving closer to them. You can see him moving. Oh, that shadow right there. Okay, I can't see I think they're coming. I can't way. see him on camera, but yeah, we should get... Here, let's get out the flashlights, and if we need to, let's, let's break up. What? We're just... 
It's scary. Already. Crazy more cold. I've seen that in scary movies where they say it's a whole lot colder when there's spirits in here. Let's just say we've been cold. That sounded like someone getting killed. Guys, guys. I think this, we gotta keep moving. This isn't a good idea. Dude, that sounds like there's like a... Sounds like crazy people. Sounds like the purge. Yeah, literally like sounds like insane people. Whoever the strangers in the dark might be, their intentions certainly don't seem to be friendly. We can't be the first one to go. In real, like, talk though, there are people here with us. What are we actually gonna do? Are we staying here right now? He just said, call 911. Wait, guys, honestly, he just said 911. What? There, there sounds like the voices are getting closer. 100%. So let's choose a that girl, go. that girl screamed. They were acting like crazy people and they just said call 911. Okay, what is going just, on? Just keep walking. Let's go up. Let's go up. The group hiding in the dark are following them, getting closer and closer. What is going on? They're really close. Though. Like. To them. Hey, shh. Turn. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Guys, this is serious. They're actually right next behind Sam and Colby just decide to leave, but the strangers are now chasing after them. No, they're coming right there. Look at them. Look, they're, they're actually coming. Go, 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 go. This is serious. What is Wait. They're there. They're there. What the fuck's going on, guys? What is actually going on? They're right there. Guys, can you see those lights? That's them. Luckily, the group manages to make it back to the park gate and escape. So much like the ghostly legends of the Kaaba State Haunted Forest, Sam and Colby did experience lights in the woods, strange screams, and maniacal laughter. But none of it was paranormal in nature. Just some very creepy and possibly dangerous people hanging out in the dark woods late at night. You can watch the entire investigation of Kaaba State's Haunted Forest over on the Sam and Colby YouTube channel. Behind the Curtain This video was actually a collaboration between two Estonian urban explorers, ET Explorers and More, and Exploring with Darknet. So this is one of those rare videos where we actually get to see the action from two different points of view. Anyway. These urban explorers were investigating an abandoned building that had served as a sauna until 1995. On the bottom floor, they find some equipment and a few dangerous open holes in the floor. Then, they head up to the second floor, and that's when things start to get a little creepy. At the end of the hallway, there is a white door with the odd phrase, Ghost Room, scrawled on it in marker. When they try to open the door, it won't budge even though it's not locked. It's as if something is wedged against the door. Sure enough, it looks almost as if someone has intentionally barred the door from the inside 
with a metal pole. When they enter, they see a curtain or bed sheet covering the door of one of the back rooms. Nevertheless, they continue deeper into the so-called ghost room. One of his friends warns the explorer who calls himself Darknet that he shouldn't continue. But Darknet doesn't listen, insisting on seeing what's behind the curtain. The boys make a break for it with the angry man in pursuit. After charging down the stairs and avoiding some holes in the floor, they make it outside and back to their car. Creeping around the corner. Some Canadian urban explorers are checking out an abandoned insane asylum when they encounter something very unexpected. This is like the psych ward. This is where they kept the crazies. Now, because this person is acting so bizarre, some people initially claim that this was a creature, a cryptid, or something other than just a person making very strange noises. But if you look closely, this person is wearing shoes. So that's just a very skinny person moving in a very bizarre way. But could this be a former patient? Is it some random disturbed person living in the abandoned building? Or is it all just a hoax? You decide. Welcome to the neighborhood. This next video was sent to me directly by Cassie Lee 1991. So Cassie says that when she and her boyfriend first moved into their house, they went to sleep one night and woke up to find this creepy spectacle outside their home. Someone sprinkled rice all over her boyfriend's car and completely surrounded their house with it, as if drawing a circle around their home for some kind of ritual. It was also obvious that a candle had been burned on their sidewalk throughout the night. 
But that's not even the creepiest part of the stranger's nighttime activities. On their back doorstep, Cassie found another candle that also looked like it had been burned through the night. There was a wooden log, bottled water, a nectarine drink, an empty can of seltzer water which covered what looks like some freshly picked berries and flowers, and perhaps strangest of all, an empty dog food can with a spoon in it. Oh, and the welcome mat that all this stuff is laying on? Cassie says that it doesn't belong to them either. The person who left all these things also left the welcome mat that they are sitting on. Now keep in mind that all of this was done quietly overnight in the dark while they slept just a few feet away inside their home. Cassie says that their neighborhood is pretty quiet and peaceful and nothing like this has happened before or since. So what do you think that this person was doing creeping around their house all night long while they slept? Why were they lighting candles and leaving strange objects? Now, personally, I've never seen anything like this. So if you have any idea what this is, please let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. If you'd like to suggest a video for the top five, go over to facebook.com slash nukes top five and hit the send message button. 